What's up, everybody? Tony Scangilli here, talking about my philosophy of blitz, blitzing smarter and not harder. It's part one of my three-part blitz series. So you want to score higher on blitz. Maybe you want to start unlocking more characters for free, or you want to test out some different teams. We can all agree blitz is annoying, but it's not the daunting, no-life task that people make it out to be. Actually, when you learn how to blitz, it becomes no different than any other game mode. Log in, do some raid nodes, do a blitz rotation, collect your energy and log on. 15 minutes here or there. Like everything in this game, succeeding at blitz is like a marathon and not a race. And uh, I'd like to go over some basics that I've learned about blitzing for success and hope to help some other people get some higher scores. Uh, the first is blitzing is a battle uh, with versus height. Uh, I know, I know, another wide roster video, uh, but it's true. Uh, a strong team in Blitz is good. Multiple teams are better, and more strong teams are clearly the best. But a single 200k team is not going to take you too far in Blitz. Uh, 330k power teams will providing you can win with them, of course. Uh, and it's it's really simple to think about it. If you have one team that gets you 50,000 points, and I promise I'm going to spare you the math, but if you have one team that's going to get you 50,000 points, and two teams that are going to get you 30, the number's at. Um, as long as you make teams that can win, you're going to get more points. As your roster grows, either by unlocking new characters or investing in certain characters to make them part of a, a better team or become more reliable, uh, your success in Blitz will be based on recognizing which of your teams win frequently in the highest tiers of Blitz. <clears throat> in general, for those who don't know, Blitz is a ladder-based tier system. Uh, eight different tiers, and each tier has four fights in it, starting at one, working your way up. The more time you spend in the highest tier, tier 8, the more points you're going to get. Period. Uh, you want to build teams that take advantage of that. So you should take your teams as they go and separate them into teams that win at the highest peak of a blitz. And then you can worry about teams that win close to that, or the, the eights and the sevens, teams that can win there, and so on and so forth, building teams down just to make sure you have something to do with all of your characters. You get to use every character in a Blitz, just not often. And as long as they have value and what you use them for, you're using them right. In my next video, I'm going to go into more detail on how I choose to separate teams, but for now, the only takeaway uh, you should have is... More teams equals better score. That's that's it. Uh, the second thing is to track your points per rotation. Uh, or PPR. I'm just going to say PPR for you guys. Your PPR is the number of points every time you do your 15-minute blitz rotation, right? Whether it's two teams or ten teams. As your score goes up, the difference from where you were to where you are is your points per rotation. It'll tell you what your time is worth how quickly you can reach key numbers, like milestones, and whether you can hit 2 million, 5 million, 8 million points. It's all just the PPR times the number of times you've worked. Uh, in general, the growth of the average Blitz player is really simple. It's clearing all of the milestones. Clearing all of the milestones with time to spare. Clearing all the milestones on day one. Etc. Making a million points. And, and that it does directly tie in with power. But not any one team's power. Just the overall power of your roster. Obviously, we want to spend at least time blitzing as possible. Because it's boring. And can be kind of a pain in the ass. But if you know what your points per rotation are... You can kind of assume, well, I get 100,000 points every time I, I blitz. So 
you know, if I blitz 10 times over the next three days, that's a million points. That kind of gives you a scale. And as it goes up, it'll never go down. It'll only ever go up. You'll have higher points. Uh, the last note for my philosophy is simple. Just don't fall into traps. And, and by traps, it's the ideas that people say and people just start to believe. There are three lies I constantly hear about things. And they're lies. Because they're just not true. The first is that the only way to top 1500 of Blitz is to just Blitz every two hours. Lose sleep. False. Top 1500, while a stupid, stupid metric for a game with over a million players, is not as ridiculous as it sounds. Uh, I've had plenty of people with TCP's 1.5 to 2 million power claim to, well, claim, tell me that they're able to top 1,500 of Blitz without losing sleep. That's that's the dream, right? Like, to get that idea out of your head. If you're 1 million, 1.5 million TCP and you can top 1,500 of Blitz blitzing a couple of times a day, well, that's fine. That's pretty good, actually. Personally, I mean, my roster's a little stronger than most, but I blitz three times a day, and I always hit top 1,500. It's because I follow a very specific system. But it has saved me a killing on new character offers. So, like, blitzing is worth it if you're looking to get value. Keep in mind, the new character is at least $24. If you top 1,500 a blitz once, you're getting almost double what that character offer is. It's top 1500 of Blitz. It's a three-star character, right? The next lie is that only whales can top a Blitz. Uh, false. Like, tr truly false. Uh, whales buy characters, first of all. I'm a whale. Well, I was. I bought a character, so I didn't have to Blitz. And a lot of people are like that, too. You know? Like, why am I going to Blitz when I can just spend the money and not have to spend any amount of time blitzing. Even then, I know plenty of free-to-play players, both in my guild and just from my stream, uh, and casual spenders who top 1500 right next to me all the time. Uh, some of them do it with less effort than I do. Uh, and it's mostly because they follow the exact same principle of more teams, better score. Uh, the last lie is weird. It's about specific teams you need to have to succeed in Blitz. There are no specific teams you need to have to succeed in Blitz. It is exclusively about number of characters. Number of teams. There are teams that make it easier. Look, I'm not gonna lie. Brotherhood. Fury Shield. Guardians of the Galaxy. Great teams, win very frequently, are going to make your life easier in Blitz. But when you're in the top of a Blitz, you're going to see those same teams. You're going to see Fury Shield, the X-Men, the Brotherhood. And you might have a team that's good enough to win, but not if it can't beat any of those teams. So it's not about which teams you have. It's about which teams can win. Personally, I always recommend building teams that can beat the Defenders. Because the defenders are always in blitz for some reason, because everyone has them. So no matter how strong your teams are, you're probably going to see a defenders team. And if you know the team can beat the defenders, then you know the team can win. Pretty simple. Uh, just some closing thoughts to bring this video out. Um, use all these resources. Uh, any infographics about sure to win teams, even like these videos that I'm making. But don't treat them as Bible. Like it's a guide. I'm just trying to give you my understanding of Blitz. And that's what we all are doing, right? We're all trying to figure it out. Try new teams and maybe try a new approach. Deviate on a Blitz you don't care about or if you have some free time. Blitzing is a huge learning curve for any point in the game because some people always Blitz with their number one team and they use all the charges. Don't do that. Some people start using charges on their aim characters or hydra characters because they just know it's worth it. Don't do that. 
it is an issue of time. There is a time gap for everybody to start succeeding better and better in Blitz. But it's not the ridiculous idea that a lot of people are claiming it is. Uh, it's not that hard to succeed in Blitz. And if you're asking at this point, why even bother? Well, at least complete your milestones, you know? Let's get that down to a simple science. Because getting all your milestones is like a million gold. Restocking all of your war supplies. Your, with your war... Uh, boosts and uh, energy, free character shards from the Blitz store, and, you know, new character unlocks. Any 45 character you're going to get from milestoning both Blitzes. So there's a lot of value, and if you're not Blitzing as frequently, at least as you do raid nodes or claim energy, you're just hindering your own roster. So make it at least fun for yourself, where you can spend the least time possible and get the most out of it. That's my opinion. Anyway. That's all for this video. Uh, the next video in the series is going to go pretty much into my personal Blitz system uh, and how I rank teams and the methods I've designed to uh, be more successful in Blitz with less effort. Uh, blitzing smarter and not harder. Uh, until next time, have a good day. Have a great night. I've been Tony Spangeli, and I'll catch you later.